the Las Vegas Aces went back to the drawing board after losing to the New York Liberty, 87-77, in Game 1 of the Best of Five semifinals on Sunday. Despite strong performances from Kelsey Plum, who scored 24 points, and Aya Wilson, who added 21 markers, the Aces fell short in the crucial matchup. With the defeat, Wilson is expected to come back even more motivated in Game 2. She has had an impressive year, setting numerous scoring records, winning a gold medal in the Paris Olympics, and becoming only the second player in WNBA history to be named a unanimous MVP. An early setback like this won't phase Wilson. According to her mother, Eva Wilson, the Aces star is guided by a special phrase she embraced while growing up, God's plan in God's time. Eva shared her belief in IOS resilience, stating, I tell Aya, don't worry about all this other stuff, because guess what, if it's for you, it's for you, I believe that. If it's for you, nobody can take it away from you. However, despite her success, Aya Wilson isn't immune to negative comments. She recently expressed to the Las Vegas Review Journal's Callie Finn that it gets exhausting to navigate a world that doesn't necessarily want to see you succeed or constantly has to nitpick on why you're succeeding. This scrutiny intensified before the season when Wilson faced backlash from fans after allegedly taking a subtle jab at Indiana Fever rookie Caitlin Clark regarding the latter's lucrative shoe deal. Wilson also mentioned that Clark's skin color plays a huge role in her popularity, which stirred further conversation. Eva Wilson works to shield her 28-year-old daughter from this negativity, including what she describes as pandering questions. People only know what Aya allows them to know about her, Eva stated. You can't believe everything you see on social media or what you've read about her. As you start to ascend higher and higher, the more people are going to come and say what they feel they can say about you when they don't even know you. Aya and the Aces will look to tie the series against the Liberty on Tuesday, with hopes of bouncing back from their Game 1 loss.